Well, greetings friends, Jennifer Nicole Campbell here, and today I'm doing vlog number four of learning to play the cello. I'm going to try to play one of my absolute favorite melodies. Maybe it's yours too. Ludwig van Beethoven's, you guessed it, Ode to Joy. This is a piece that I often first teach to my young piano students because it fits really comfortably in a five finger scale. Check it out. The only note that's outside of it, listen. But then I usually have the, the uh, student use the left hand for that or vice versa because of what's going on there. So, Ode to Joy on the cello I think is going to be much more difficult. Of course, we always have intonation to worry about. What does intonation mean? Intonation is uh, the tuning of certain notes on an instrument. So, if your intonation is really good, it means you're really centered on the pitch. Like if I say, oh, you know, I'm going to play an E. That's a little flat. Here's a little more on the pitch. But you, the way you move your finger, it's so subtle, right? It's not like piano where... Well, here's the, the bottom of the key, here's the top of the key. That ain't changing, right? But in here, on the cello, on the fingerboard, it changes depending on where your finger is. So that's one of the challenges. It's a little easier for me, I think, um, just because I already have the knowledge of the violin. Um, and I had some really awesome ear training teachers at Peabody. Shout out to Clinton Adams and um, a few other folks that were really fantastic. So, um... We're going to give Ode to Joy a try in the key of C. I don't love the high strings. I don't know if it's just because of the way my elbow is, but we're going to give it a try. challenge I think for this is the switch between here and there. I think I might use my third finger just because it feels a little easier. Is that called second position I believe? Please correct me if I'm wrong. I'm still learning the cello lingo. So that's definitely a little easier for me than the pinky because the pinky does feel like it has to stretch a little more which I don't love. But maybe it's just something I need to get used to. Comment below, please. So let's try this, this again. And the other thing I'm noticing as I'm playing is I'm looking either here or here. Maybe I'll try to look around a little more and sense the music, right? Isn't that the whole point of music is to have it transform how you feel? Let's see. <laughs> feathery sound. I'm sure you heard it. I'm not going to blame it on the bow being tight enough. Uh, I'm not also going to blame it on, oh, well, I was looking around. I think just sensing better where the sweet spot is here between the fingerboard and the bridge is going to be something to work on, as I mentioned before. Let's try a little vibrato with that. Maybe third time's a charm. Oh, I'm, not, oh, I'm also noticing my shoulders are really tense, so that's something to be aware of with any instrument you play, whether piano, violin, marimba, Recorder, kazoo, singing, right? Cello. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now it's going to be interesting when I watch this video back. I have the feeling that I'm a little too close to the bridge. Um, I see the video is not quite in the right angle, but we'll have to make do, you know. So, one more time, and I'm going to try to think of making the music mean something very special instead of just worrying about where my fingers are, where the bow is. Try to sense it a little bit more. Well, that really worked, didn't it? Let's try that again with the glasses on. Is that going to help? to me. We'll see if it sounded the best. Sorry for the glasses mishap. I'm playing around between glasses and contacts right now. I hope you enjoyed this fourth part of my journey. Don't worry, I'm going to release a little piano music for you this week. and We have a live stream coming up in a few weeks, a little sight reading live stream. Next week I have a live stream for my Patreons only. Thank you to my Patreons. You are one of the reasons I'm able to keep putting content on this channel. So special thanks to all of you out there. Um, if you weren't interested in joining my Patreon, exclusive content there just for them. So please be sure to check it out. Patreon slash JNC Music. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Please click that notification bell because that's going to let you know about new videos. I try not to inundate you. I'm going to try to do one or two a week. So I hope you found this meaningful. Remember Ode to Joy, right? Uh, there's Beethoven. The guy was deaf and he wrote the most famous, probably one of the most famous melodies on the planet to this date. So Whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're suffering with, uh, I hope that it gets better. You're in my prayers, and um, looking forward to seeing you next time.